Lily here. Welcome to my channel. So this morning, Hubby and I find ourselves over here at Waxahachie Creek. We call it Waxahachie River, but it's a creek according to Google Maps. It is a very windy morning, nice and fresh out here. Um, no sun, it's cloudy, it wants to rain, but hopefully the rain doesn't get us. It's 10% chance, so I doubt it. So Hubby wants to do some fishing for crappie and we're just gonna fish along the way for bass and crappie, see what gets caught. Bye, boo -boo. Water looking a little muddy, a little murky. This is our second time bringing you guys here to Waxahachie River Creek, whatever you want to call it. We've gone down that way before, and but mostly we go down this way. About a four pounder. What'd you say, Bubba? Biggest catch here, four pounder. Yeah, hubby's biggest catch here has been a four pounder. I don't think there's like really big fish here, huh, Bubba? I don't know. That four pounder surprised me. I know, but like compared to like what we can see, because sometimes the water is really clear and we can see the fish, and they don't look like they're really big fish. And it's really um, shallow here. It's like about three feet. So. Caught another little spider or something, boo boo. <laughs> yeah, it's eating it. This is nature, guys. <laughs> How cool is that? Don't flick it in the water, do we? No, it's feasting on it. Are you gonna let him ride with it? Or what? How cool. <laughs> It, took off, it has it in its mouth. It took off with it. So we're already in the water a little bit. Half in the water, half in the land. <laughs> Feels good out here. We stopped by at um, Jack in the Crack to get some breakfast. Because y'all know we can't fish on an empty belly. <laughs> we had another fellow fisherman. I don't know, he's parked back there. But um, he's fishing off land and I don't know where he went. Let me say he's fishing for crappie. How do you know? Oh. Oh yeah, he's over there, guys. He's in the bushes. Real Hubby says the water is really chocolatey. I showed y'all right now. We really can't see inside. See how the water is really chocolatey brown. Some places where we go fishing, it's really green. It's really cool how you can see the different um, bodies of water. But this is how that creek looks. So pretty, calm and relaxing. I like coming over here because we could just float down the river or creek. I know I keep saying river, but whatever. Y'all know what I mean. No luck yet, guys, but we're just getting started. Yep, only Lily. Y'all see that, guys? I don't know if y'all can see it, but I got my lure stuck up there in a, in a barbed wire. I think that there was a fence up there. And, oh, I got it stuck. Baby, how am I going to do this so it won't fall on me? Just shake it up or? No. It's going to fall on you. Oh, just wiggle it up. Okay. There. Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay. I got it unstuck. Guys, y'all remember this fallen tree from our last time we came? If y'all watched that video, we th Hubby and I thought we weren't going to be able to get through because it's fallen and it looks like it's blocking the, the pathway to get through. But we go through that little space right there. We go under under there. And 
just like that. We're on the other side. Thought the water was gonna get a bit clearer over here, boo boo. You think it get it'll get a little more clear over there? Last time we came, guys, when we came, um, and we were getting close to the dead end because this becomes a dead end over there. There's no more water that we can go through with our boat. But um, we could see little fish swimming in the water, and we saw like a whole school of like catfish. Look at this big old tall tree. It's like two trees in one, but. They're just really tall. Hey guys, look at the water over here. It got all swampy. But I'm telling hubby, how are we gonna cross over here? This one does look like it's blocking the whole thing and we can't get under it or anything last time boo boo the water was a bit higher and we went around it through over here remember we went around it through that little dry piece oh yeah we sure did yeah the water is really low this time it's lower than the last time we came all of this land that's right here usually underwater And we did, we went around through there. There was water right here, we went around. We can drag it around, boo-boo. That's pretty much it. I can't fit it under there. No, we can't because there's a lot of big logs. We're just going to go around. Look at this big old vine. Hangs from all the way up there. But yeah, we're going to drag it. Right, Bubba? And since we're on land, might as well get off and explore a little bit over here. Ooh, boo boo, a gun. Somebody left a gun over here. Y'all see that, guys? <laughs> I know there's creatures through over here because right now when Hubby and I were floating down, it looked like there was a little path where a creature had slithered in the water. This is what we feel. There's tracks right here, look. Fire tracks. That way. Like a big oh yeah, it's just an open field guys. We can see some tire marks coming from right there like if they come and park in here. But that's all that is over here. Back to our boat. You can see little, um, you can see little pathways, little paths. Yeah, I don't want to fall. It is. you guys the boat's right there we got to drag it all through here to this side over here where the water is right there and that is it back in guys and have you almost fell you almost fell boo boo how <laughs> yeah. oh, you stepped wrong your way yeah. <laughs> dang it that would have been a sight for y'all to see how many times has have me almost not fallen in the water or almost fallen in the water and he doesn't <laughs> one of these days one of these days he will or i will again look how it looks right here guys the structures right here 
Nothing but rock. So pretty. So is it hubby and I, or is it looking a little bit more clearer over here, guys? It was looking more brown and muddy over there, but over here it looks a little greener and a little bit more clear to us. Guys, and hubby caught one, yeah! <laughs> Look at this big baby right here. Man. Aww. Poor little baby. That's big. Yep. There it goes, guys. Mm -hmm. Hubby's first catch. Look how beautiful it looks through here, guys. Oh, I got some. I got some. Oh, guys. Got Hubby got something. <laughs> he saw it. Oh, my God. And there's a big old ugly spider over here by this tree. Oh, yeah, oh, my goodness. But there's a spider on this tree ah, that I'm holding on to. I can't. We're really, sh it's really shallow right here, guys. What'd you catch, Boo Boo? What'd you catch? Ooh, a bat. Yeah, baby. I don't want to hold on to this tree because there's a spider on it, Boo Boo. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It'll be a tiny one. Yeah, yeah. Look, guys, have we caught another one? <laughs> Hubby always catches up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take a picture and how did it feel, Boo Boo? Oh, good. <laughs> Look, guys. Do y'all see right there that little path? That's where I tell y'all that little creatures come from the woods and come over here and slide in the water. <laughs> Let me get off real quick. Too much activity over there. See how it looks from closer view? You can see right there where it slid in the water. Hubby said he's going to get off a bit because, like I said, it's very shallow here. Are they? There's a whole bunch of um, little holes right here in the land. And Hubby says that it's the pigs that come and lay here at night. But it looks like it is. Like if they dig a hole and they just lay their butts in there. <laughs> but who knows? It looks so beautiful over here. There's a lot of shade. You just hear the wind blowing and little birdies, an airplane here and there. And y'all know the usual cars off the freeway. But yeah. Have we got off? <laughs> I'm just gonna wait right here in the boat sitting down. Scoping out the place, see where he could throw it. guys fishing is hubby and i's um hobby we love doing this together i know we have a few new subscribers so if you know you guys are pretty new to our channel this is what hubby and i do all the time for relaxation for you know just to have fun we enjoy spending time with each other and just the views nature it's just so relaxing and beautiful there he goes <laughs> Do you guys have any um, hobbies or activities that you guys like to do as a couple? Like you and your hubby or if you're a guy, you and your wife. Um, are there any yeah, hobbies that y'all like to do together? Let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know. See if y'all, let's see what you guys like to do. Let's see guys. Y'all want to see hubby falling? <laughs> he didn't. It's quite a jump from the, um, from the land to the boat, but he did it. I think that this is it guys. We came to a dead end over here. The water is really low. We can usually go a little bit further down that way. But like I said, the water is too low. So no can do. We're going to go back around and fish it back that way. Toby just lost a big one right here where all these bubbles are. Really close to the boat. It scared me. The splash was big. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Trying to eat me. Nah, but um, yeah, he lost one right now. And have you caught another one? Ooh, it's a crappie, baby. No, it's, not. it's not. No, it's a sandbag. Oh man, it looks shiny like a crappie. 
Oh man, it tricked me. <laughs> Stand back with a stripe out of them. I can't even Guys, it. what is this kind of fish if y'all know? We call it striper because, of course, the stripes it has. Or it could be a sand bass. I don't know what's the difference. But, yes, it's so pretty and shiny. Thought it was a crappie boo-boo. <laughs> Just by looking at it in the water. Dang, it gets, the sun goes down and it gets really cloudy, really dark. I think it's a striper, see? Because of lines. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look, guys, do y'all know what kind of fish this is? If y'all do, let us know in the comments. But yeah, hubby's third catch. That's right. We made it, guys. We made it back to the to where the little um, fallen tree was. Ooh. Now we gotta jump it again. <laughs> There's a lot of little baby frogs in this area right here. As soon as we get off, a lot of them start jumping everywhere. Hubby says round two. We made it past the fallen tree. We dragged it across again. We're back on this side and see if he catches anything going back this way. So guys, we made it to the fallen tree, the other fallen tree, the first one where we go under here. And um, hubby is casting a few over here. And then we'll head back under here. <laughs> what, boo -boo? I'm telling you that the, the wind is pretty strong, but I'm saying you can't stop me. Wind, I got a 40 pound thrust. Oh, what was it? Big old wasp. 40 pound thrust motor. <laughs> Coda motor. Yeah. See, like nothing. Just cut it right through it. Go. <laughs> Careful you don't fall there. It feels great out here, guys. Hubby hasn't caught any more. I haven't caught any because I really haven't been fishing. I've been like taking pictures and um, little clips here and there for a reel that I want to make. And yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Just enjoying the views. I did throw a few casts. I changed my lure. I had my lucky lure when we first came. If y'all know, my lucky lure is this one that my daughter gave me. And it's missing a little, the back hook is broken. It's missing a little hook. But this is my lucky lure, which hasn't been so lucky lately, but I still use it. And then I switched it to, I switched it to this one right here. It's too chocolatey. But no luck. Hubby says the water is too chocolatey over here. So yeah, no more luck. But yeah, there's a lot of like logs. Even our little boat's getting stuck in the logs under here. Look at this huge tree. There's a lot, a lot of fallen trees over here. Huge. So yeah, guys, we're already gonna call it a day. We're gonna go home um, we're not gonna go under the bridge hubby said unless um, there's no one fishing on the side we'll go ahead and go because we don't want to get in their way with our boat but um, if not if there is people we'll just call it a day and go home see guys um, that's why hubby doesn't want to go under the bridge to the other side because there's people fishing there's a man sitting under the bridge so we don't want to Ooh, we went over a log boo boo I don't want to interrupt. We don't want to, you know, get in their way of fishing. So we're not going to go that way. But like I said, I will leave um, the link to the video of the first time we came where we do go to that side um, in the description box below so y'all can go check it out. It's nice. There's houses over there. Their backyards lead to this creek. But yeah, Hubby said he wanted to see how many lures we could find on these trees right here along the edge because most of the people that come, they park right there where we parked our truck and they fish along this little edge right here and they get their lure stuck over here on this side. Y'all can see on our other video, like I said, the first time we came, we found a few lures. There's none. They're getting better at not hooking them. Yeah, they're ready. They're getting better at casting. 
There goes that one. What we do is look at the lines and then just look at the end of them. And there has to be one. <laughs> there goes one, but it's just a little worm, boo boo. We don't go for like the plastic baits. I don't know what you call them. We go for like the, the actual hard ones. But no, we don't see any. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people fishing. There's a man under the bridge. There's another guy on this side, over here. And we're back over here where we parked. Got it, boo-boo. Got it. Too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Have we, did y'all hear him? Have we said he's too old for this shit? But we're out here. He's out here. We're gonna be out here till we're like 60. Guys, and y'all know how hubby does it. He ties the strap onto the boat and then he pulls it out with the truck. Much easier that way. Much easier. Oh my word, I didn't know he was gonna pull it out that far. But yeah. That's how hubby does it. Yeah, hubby brought it all the way this way because he wanted it to be leveled out. Right here, it's real ugly. Look. There's like a dip. Earlier when we unloaded, you can see the tire marks right here. But he, he fell in this dip right here, so we took it out. <laughs> oh gosh, that was funny to me. Time to pack everything up and load the boat and call it a day. And we are out of there, guys. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be longer or not. I feel like I didn't record much for you guys, but like I said, I'll leave the link to the previous time we came and you guys can go check that video out so you can see more of the creek. And, um, but yeah, it was fun. It was relaxing. The weather is good. Right now it feels hot because Hubby was loading the boat and we were, you know, it was a little workout. But um, it felt good going down the creek. It wasn't hot at all. It was The wind was nice and fresh. And so yeah. But anyways, like I said, we hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to like. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And we'll see you guys on our next one. Bye. Ooh, Boo Boo caught a sand bass or a striper. Another one like this morning. Yep. This one's a little bigger, no? Yeah. Shoot, I'm gonna try to get him. Oh man, really, it has blood yeah. on it. Poor fishy. Let me take a picture.